Hey all, how you doing? Unwell Skeleton here and today I'm going to be opening up the second box of Burning Shadows as you can see. Also if you've noticed I've got a completely different layout now so my camera is above me so I am not going to be knocking the camera again so no matter what I do I'm not going to knock it but then again saying that I always find a way to knock it so Anyways, let's open this box up. This is the second from my uh, box that I got from chaoscars.co.uk. Go check it out. It's an awesome website with awesome priced cards. So yeah, let's open this up. Hopefully we'll do it a lot quicker than we did for the first box, which was 25 minutes, I believe. Oops, sorry about that. So, let's open them up. There we go, put that on one side. So, because we opened this side up last time, I'm going to open this side up first. The right hand side, and we're set them up here. So, let's get on with it. As I did before, every time you pull a, what's it called, a, what, the um, trainer, you know what I mean, every time you pull one of them, I will give you a code. Alright, so we're going to be putting the char the reverse hollows down, followed by the holographics. So we've got Charmeleon, Bruxish, which is our rare. There we go, a Guzma, that's the one I was after. That's the word I was after. So every time we put a Guzma, I will put a code down because he's an awesome card. So once this is done, I'll put one down. So there we go. Let's put him um, down there in the light so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it anyways. That's a pack two. So yeah, every Guzma, uh, every normal Guzma will get one pack, one code. Every full art Guzma, if we manage to pull one, will get one, uh, three codes. So, Tormenting Spray, Lana, Surviper, and a code for me. Pack number three. Right, so we've got a Hoot Hoot, Reverse Hollow, and a Lower Maticate, Plumeria, and Super Scoop Up. So we want to get a uh, play set of Guzmas, which would be awesome. There we go, we've got a Toxic Oak Reverse Hollow. Go on, please, right there. And a Dusk Gnaw Holographic. Oh, and today, before I forgot, I actually got some, um, what's it called, sleeves. So I won't be putting everything into, oh, top loaders, so. Yes, I know top loaders are cool, and they do protect it quite a bit, but, um, I only get like 25 per box of top loaders and I don't want to use them up too quick. Right, so next pack, Nook of Hollows in the pack right. Let's try and pick it up. Right, we've got a Wimpod Reverse Hollow and the Ninetales Rare Non Hollow. So that card can go over here. Just need to separate the codes from the ones I give you to the ones I'm keeping. The reason I keep the majority of the codes is so I can open them on a TCG online stream for you lot. Right, so no, full, no EXs yet, a GX is yet, so it should be due for one very soon. 
So you've got a Polygon 2 Reverse Hollow and a Mudsdale Rare Non Hollow. And then we've got an Olivia, Curlia, Rebombi. I've got an Eraticate and a Tangrowth Rare Non Hollow. And a Sophocles. We've got a Mortal Reverse Hollow and a Ledian. No Reverse, no Kiel, no Guzma, sorry. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what other uh, cards I should put on my bench when I put them. Tangler, oh, and it looks like a uh, Tangler Reverse Hollow, and it looks like we got a very nice Marshadow GX, our very first one. So let me put that in a sleeve. So that's my first ever Marshadow GX. Pretty awesome card. Open up sleeves, damn it. So yeah, how many of you watch people open the packs and use these KMC sleeves, but to only put it on the wrong way, instead of putting the closing on the top, they put it on the bottom. I don't know about you, but I get like, God damn it, put it the right way. So there we go, our first GX, which is a Marshadow. He can go down here. And we've still only got one Guzma. We're still looking for, hold on. Did you just see that? Look at that, a reverse hollow on the top. What's going on there? So we've got one reverse hollow, hold on. Pample, that was crazy. Okay. So that was weird. They completely messed up the card trick there. Anyways, let's carry on with the packs. Let's see if we can do it again. Hmm. Uh, that might have been just a one-off. A meal And a Heracross. Sorry about messing up the decks, but... Who cares, really? After this one, I'll sort them out. So I was thinking on my next box opening, I might open two boxes. Uh, once I got my uh, fast opening um, down. There we go, Guzma number two. So you know what that is? Meaning you get a free code. So I'll put it there for you. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. I'll put it there just so you can have a chance to grab it. Let's just sort these out first. Right, so one GX, two Guzmas, two Hollows, and the rest is Bulk. A Charmander. So you've got a Charmeleon and a Charmander with a Hollow. A Pers Persian, sorry. And then nothing else. So let me know what you think of this style of opening in the comment section below. Uh, it'd be awesome to hear your views. Nice, we've got a reverse holo Kiawe and a Palo Sand holographic. I forgot how much this does your arm in holding up like this. 
but this way I get to use the full amount of the um, play mat and I actually get to sit upstream which does my back some good as well alright so we've got a crab ball a reverse hollow and then we have a Salazzle GX awesome our second GX of the box nice there we go no Guzma, so no code. The more Guzma hoods we get, the more codes I'll give to you lot. Just making like 10 Guzmas in one box, that'd be awesome. Right, we've got a Potan Reverse Hollow and a Toxic Quick, rare non hollow. So, one more pack left on the first bun, uh, the first part. And then we'll be on to the second pack set. What are you gonna call it? A right, Lucario Reverse Hollow and a Turtonator non hollow rare. Right, last pack. Let's see if we can pull one more Guzma out of this side. Right, we've got a Low and Grimer Reverse Hollow. And a beware. No, no more Guzmas from that side. Let me sort out my bulk. And then we'll sort out the bundles. And then we'll start on the second part of this opening. So yeah, if you're into gaming and you want to see me open some packs on the trading card game online. Go check out my gaming Twitch channel, which is Unwell Gaming at, on Twitch, where I do some awesome unboxings of well, unpackings of cards that I codes that I got from here. All right, we got a horsey reverse hollow and a very nice Necrozma GX. That is our third normal GX in a row. So, pretty sweet pool so far. And let's see, can we get a Guzma? Nope. But like I said, the more Guzmas we get, the more codes you not get. I'm actually loving this setup, it's a lot better than the ones I've had in the past. So we had a, a little Raticate Grind, um, Reverse Hollow, and a Aquanid Rare Non Hollow. I get the GXs out of the light. something nice we got a Tynamo reverse hollow and then let's see what we got we got a very nice our first ever Tapu Bulu GX full art there we go look at that oh got a very nice texture as well let's see if we can also pull out a Guzma and that will mean that you all gain one code. Nope, no Guzma in that pack. So you've got one full art, three normals. Uh, we'll probably do by now a trainer card. I've got a vile plane reverse hollow and a Kingdra hollow. Awesome, so a GX followed by a hollow. A GX full art f followed by a hollow, shall I say. So yeah, these are a lot quicker doing it this way than I did with my other one. 
Just want to make sure it's recording. I think it is. And a crab omnibus. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I had to make sure it's recording. Nothing there, no Guzmas, unfortunately. <laughs> and I've got a Pikachu reverse on it. Shinotic with a uh, non rare hollow, a non hollow rare, shall I say? Right, let's see what we got. Getting close to the end, lacking in new pools. We've got a Lana reverse hollow and a Persimian non hollow rare. And there we go, a third Guzman. And here is your code. I'll put it down there. And here, I just gave it a code so you should be able to get that now. Use my number three. Awesome. I need to really get a bin near me because all these packs are very messy. A right, Mudbray Reverse Hollow. And a very nice Plumeria Trainer Full Art. Look at that, very nice Full Art. Plumeria. How many of you have um, completed the Sun and Moon? And are you going to be buying the new one? I've completed it and I'm not gonna be buying a new one because it's just a money grab, I reckon. They're just changing it a tiny bit. And that's about it. That's what I've seen from videos, that they're only changing it a tiny bit. So I'm not going to bother to even buy it. Well, one, because I sold my 3DS, and two, because, like I said, I'll just get bored of it if I play again. I wrote a Dex Reverse Hollow and an Electrovire. No Guzmans. So we've got five pools, which is pretty awesome. A Lycan Rock Midnight Form with Earth Hollow and a Lycan Rock Day Form non rare, non hollow rare. Sorry. So it'd be awesome if we could pull a Charizard GX Full Art. Uh, Secret Rare, or is it Rainbow Rare, sorry. That'd be epic if we could pull that, because it's a very sought after card. Even though the attacks aren't that good, I got Sneasel Reverse on it and it has more. But that would be awesome to add to my collection. So we've got, so far we've only got five pulls. I've seen anywhere from four to nine pulls in one pack, so hopefully we've still got a few waiting for us. Mikey Carp Reverse Hollow and a Electros non rare, non hollow rare, sorry, and a Key R Way. I thought that was another Guzma for a second, but nope. Okay, let's see what we got. A Dabbing Duskle. Mm -hmm. We got Weavile Reverse Hollow and a Heracross non hollow rare. And no Guzma. Right, getting close to the end now, so I hope you enjoyed it. We've got Toga de Maru with Earth Hollow. And they're battle free rare non hollow. So we only need one more Guzma to make a playset. The Kingdra Reverse Hollow Rare. And a Darkrai Rare Reverse, a uh, Rare Hollow, sorry. Not Reverse. That's the first Hollow I've seen in a while. 
and these packs are getting everywhere now. <laughs> so we've got three packs left. Let's see if we can pull an awesome card out of that. Both would be a secret rare energy. Or as I said before, a rainbow rare Charizard. That'd be awesome if we could. Crab Abominable, Reverse Hollow, and a Scoliopede Rare Non Hollow. Okay, so two packs left now. We've got some pretty cool pulls in today's video. I got a Simi C Reverse Hollow and a Weavile Rare Non Hollow. And our very last pack. Hopefully it's not going to let us down with having nothing. No, my luck is going to have the Beware as the rare of it. So let's see what we can pull. Right, so we've got Mount Lana Killer. Let's give you this code. The very last code of the pack, unless we pull a Guzma, and then I'll give you another code. I'm gonna add... Uh, do that. So that you can't see the rare, not yet, anyway, I'm gonna delay that. So Simi Sage, Curlia, Heat More, then that Reverse Lana Killer again. And then the rare, the holographic is a fairy energy. I mean, the energy is a fairy energy. Then we have that. And then we have a very nice Tapu Fini GX to end the sh stream on. So we had a pretty good stream, uh, pretty good opening today. From there we got five hollows, a dark white hollow. Kingdra Hollow, Palo Sand Hollow, Dusk Noor Hollow, and a Raichu Hollow, which I'm throwing everywhere. We also got three Guzmas, and then we had these awesome GXs. Obviously, you saw them, but it's nice to go over them again. Alright, so we've got a Tapu Fini, Mars Shadow GX, Salazzle GX, Necrozma GX, Plumerio GX Full Art, and a Tapu Bulu GX Full Art as well. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the stream, the, not stream, the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help me out and if you can share the video that would be awesome as well so i'll see you later